Hey, what's up? It's Lyakus, and I'm going to be talking about my experience on an alternative media site. So yeah, um, if you don't know, I've been creating videos again on January 2017. Before then, I started making videos when I was 10, technically. <laughs> um, yeah, I made one video that was my actual name and uh, the last digits of the year I was born. And I just had a video with me of me as a child playing with webcam effects, like the Cyberlink webcam. Yeah, you remember that, hun? Yeah, that was me. I was playing with those webcam effects. I wish I had the video, but I don't anymore. So yeah, I deleted that channel. Um, and after that, I did um, a channel when I was 12. And um, oh boy, I, I have found some video, those some ancient relics of those videos. And yeah, they, they were cringy as hell. Um, I wanted to be Shane Dawson, and I took a lot of inspiration from Shane Dawson. Um, so, you know, I was very random. I had a lot of makeup on. I just, that was just me, you know. I, I was just random XD, you know. I used the XD term, too. Yeah, I just... I'm dead inside now, okay? I'm dead. I'm just discussing that. So, you know, like, I, I did get a little bit, like, cyberbullied when I was making those videos, and honestly, looking at, back at them, uh, yeah, you were not Shane Dawson, hun. <laughs> so, with that being said, um, my random XD did not go well with some people at school, and honestly, it's whatever. Like, um, now it's whatever, but I took it a little personally back then, because, like, I just felt like it was going, like, way too far. Um... I think, like, I got, like, a lot of messages saying that I was ugly, and then I think I threw some slurs back at them. <laughs> it was, it, you know, 12-year-old me was a little too heated, okay? I, I think I'm more cold now, but I, I, I'm still a fiery person, but, you know, 12-year-old me was fiery as fuck, okay? You know, I was just like, dude, Shane Dawson doesn't get this, but you know what? I, I think Shane Dawson do does get hate. Definitely, Shane Dawson definitely gets hate. And I'm pretty sure he did in 2011. But you know what? It happens, I guess. Okay? Coos, calm your shit. Little coos, calm your shit. So yeah, I was always afraid to, like, start making videos again. I think that really, um, triggered social anxiety in my, in, like, further on in my life. So I started making videos again, uh, like, I guess when I was 14 or 15. I, I'm guessing 14 because it was 2013 when I saw the videos. And I was just like all over the place. Like I was just like going with this. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to talk about. I, I like to know my poison bite. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was basically my videos because I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't really know how to look at the camera and I just felt really awkward. Um, I'm, I'm not really a person to give eye contact. I feel really awkward giving eye contact to people. So honestly, like I didn't really know how to do that to a camera. And sometimes I don't, I like I learned how to do that more over time and basically uh when I like talk you know I kind of do the debate so to say look you know I look in the camera's direction but I don't look exact like directly into the camera and sometimes I do look off and that just happens um but yeah I learned over time you know public speaking in school look at the board like across from you in the top of people's heads and that's just how I like I learned that and obviously I do try to apply that to my videos often sometimes I do look away though haven't still today I don't give a shit anyway so um with that being said um that that was just like my previous content making experiences in 2016 I started making content more, okay? I made a, like, a what's in my bag for work tour video, and, like, uh, me complaining about some woman on the bus, <laughs> you know? That, that was what I did in 2016, then I started making videos back in 20, like, you know, throughout the year of 2017, like, excluding the month of March, and I had fun doing it. Um, it helps me with my social anxiety a little bit more, um, basically because... Again, like, over, like, the time I started making videos in, like, 20, like, seriously making videos in 2011, like, I kind of didn't know how to handle, uh, criticism and, like, hate and all that kind of, it was actually straight up hate, it wasn't criticism, it was, it, it was hate, because it was fucking 12 year olds, okay, 12 year olds don't know what the fuck they're talking about. 12 year olds don't really know how to make content, and I'll, I'll tell you right now, if you're 12 and you're aspiring, you know, keep doing you, learn what, learn what you gotta do. But you know what, you're, you're not going to be the next Shane Dawson, okay? You know, I know you've been watching Shane Dawson since you were a kid. 
You know, you've been seeing him uh, parody Degrassi, you know, your favorite show. You know, but you can't do that, okay? You got you got to learn how to um, take your influences and create something new out of it, okay? And, yeah, you know, honestly, you know, go after your dreams, but learn how to go after your dreams. Um, you know, I, I did not really do that when I was 12. I'm doing that now. <laughs> but basically, you know, when I started making videos... Alright, it's at the 5-minute mark. You know, when <laughs> it was at the 5-minute mark. Um, so, you know, when I started making videos, uh, again, obviously, um, let's see. I um, wanted to improve my social anxiety and kind of get rid of my stutter that I have. Like, I have a, I, have, I, have, I somewhat have a stutter. So I wanted to kind of get rid of that, and I have a hard time, like, articulating words sometimes. So I was like, hey, you know what? If I make videos and, like, start talking and talking and talking, I'll know how to talk. <laughs> um, and that, that's just what I started doing. And it was a pretty <laughs> decent experience. But at this time, I was watching, like, VNYL videos, videos just talking about music, all that fun jazz. So, when watching these videos, I think I watched, like, Eugenia Cooney, too. So, honestly, you know, I watched that kind of content. Um, you know, some of the My Digital Escape crew, um, you know, Paige Backstage, Infinity on Hannah, John from ARTV, you know, all that fun jazz. That's just what I was watching then. So I wanted to make videos about my vinyl collection and all that fun jazz, you know, that's just all what I wanted to do. But you know, some of these videos had that annoying ukulele music and I just got so annoyed by it, you know, before then I was watching Leafy. That sounds so bad. I, I feel I, I feel awful for it, okay? <laughs> but yeah, you know, I was watching Leafy and he just pointed it out. Never since he pointed it out, just it it like hurts my brain whenever I hear it. So basically, you know, when I started making videos, I started like just putting comic sans everywhere and I was just like, fuck you, fuck your stupid ukulele music. I'm gonna do what I want. You know, that was me. I was like, I hate this ukulele music. I don't want to watch videos with it. I, you know, people just like fucking up with their music, um, you know, the background music, you know, I don't want to do that, you know, I'm not gonna have background music, I'm just gonna do me. And that's what I did, um, and also I, like, put Comic Sans everywhere, because I'm like, dude, your intros are so fucking annoying, like, I don't want to see this, like, I don't want to, I don't want to hear this, like, ah, uh, like, so that's what I was doing, um, obviously I, um, use an intro now, uh, and I'm planning on making a new one, and, you know, some intros I do like, but some of them are... Oh my god, this is- I've seen this so many times. You're using the same template, too. Like, stop. You know, like, so basically I just wanted to mock those people all talking about music. And that's just what I did back then. And it got to a point where I, like, really wanted to make astrology videos, and I've always really wanted to do this ever since I got into astrology, but I obviously wanted to know what the fuck I was talking about before I started making astrology videos. So once I felt like I knew what I was talking about, I started making those and I was so nervous and I didn't really know how to edit my Aries and Midheaven video. But over time, that video did do really well. And obviously, ever since that video, I started making more and more. And it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was kind of my YouTube story. Um, that's kind of what I was making before I went on to the VidMe. And what triggered me to go on the VidMe? I'm gonna tell you, hon, okay? Basically, um, the apocalypse happened and I took a month off from video making because I felt like shit. So once, um, I got back on, up uploaded this whole entire series, um, you know, it just got five views and the apocalypse was going on, okay? No one was getting views. Ads were dropped everywhere. You couldn't swear in videos anymore. Well, I think I, you couldn't do that when I started making videos, actually, because I had a, like, I tried to hold my trucker's mouth in. And honestly, it got, I, I got really paranoid, paranoid during it, you know, when I swore, I was like, real people swear, okay, hun? You know, but that happened once in a while, but I always try to refrain myself from swearing and refrain my actual self from showing these videos, which was kind of ironic because I was making fun of people for doing the same exact thing over and over again, just it bugging the shit out of me. And that's just kind of what happened with my videos. <laughs> and, you know... Once I, like, stopped getting interaction and stopped kind of, I guess, talking to people on the site, 
I was just like, dude, I want something better and I've heard of it me. Um, I think I was watching I Hate Everything, but I could be wrong to be honest. I don't remember. But once I heard about VidMe, I like, j like you know, saw what the site was about. I thought it was a political site at first. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to piss anyone off. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'm not like this. My content isn't like this. Am I going to be okay on VidMe? So I did take a few, I did take a good three days to um, examine the site. And after that, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to start posting videos here. I think on April 13th, I made the account and I started posting videos um, April 19th. So that's what I did. And I had fun doing it. Um, for sure. Uh, but yeah, um, I was a little bit hesitant because of the political content. But I do find it bullshit that they did take political content off their trending page. You know, it, like, who cares if it's trending, okay? Just, just do you, alright? Um, the adpocalypse hit the political con- like, content creators first. So obviously, they're gonna be the ones flocking to the site first. But with that being said, um, you know, I was one of the only people posting astrology videos. Like, there was, um, a famous YouTube guy, I forgot what his name was. Um, he was posting, like, videos there, and there was another person who was posting astrological forecasts there. Um, there were a couple other channels, like, as time went on, but I was one of the few. And I was posting, like, old-school Alyssa, Sh Alyssa Sharp-like videos, so... I mean, I wasn't talking about Vedic astrology. I wasn't, you know, talking about forecasts. I was just doing, you know, 2011 Melissa Sharp with a ton of memes. And that's just what my thing was. So, that being said, um, I had a really good time making videos on VidMe, okay? I stopped kind of restraining myself a little bit. Uh, it took time for me to fully, like, say, I don't give a fuck, you know? But when I started making videos, I started swearing like I usually do, you know? My trucker's mouth came out and I was okay with it. Other than that, um, you know, I was still afraid to, like, cross anyone's lines when it came to politics. So I wanted to make an Neptune in the 10th house video and just videos about the 10th house and, like, the planets in there, but, um... You know, the main example for Neptune the 10th, like, that I can think of is Bernie Sanders. And I was afraid that just me mentioning Bernie Sanders would cause, like, a political shit fest on in the comments. And it'd just be YouTube all over again. And I'm like, dude, I don't give a shit if you want to know what's going on in Minecraft, okay? Just get the fuck out, okay? I don't want to deal with you. So I was afraid that was going to happen. And, um, you know, it didn't. Um, and I didn't make that video, um, because of that, but... Honestly, you know, I got a lot of confidence from, you know, posting on that site. Um, I started making music reviews, um, mostly because someone watched it, and my, well, my review for Young and Menace, and was just like, hey, you know, make some more reviews, you know, you're kind of funny as shit when you do this, and you know, you, you, you have a good rant personality, I'm like, oh, thanks, like, do they really say that? No, I think I'm, think I'm over-exaggerating that, but, you know, they liked the video and said, hey, you know what, you should make more. So I started making more, I started talking about other music I liked and, you know, started listening to new music and being like, hey, this is my opinion on it and this is the rating I give it. And I'd also do, like, in interpretations of it. I did I, an interpretation for two albums and that was pretty fun. Um, one of them was Lost in Translation. The other one was Stories We Tell Ourselves. Um, again, like, it was, it was a good time. <laughs> I had fun making the music content, but it is not where my heart is um, anymore because I'm more confident in my astrology skills, so to say. Skills. Um, and yeah, obviously I do want to talk about MBTI and um, Enneagram because those are the videos I'm watching now. And obviously I'm watching more astrology content than music content. And obviously now I do want to focus more on those kinds of things rather than music. And obviously I will still talk about music sometimes if you want to like hear my opinion on things, but obviously it's, uh, you know, I'm going to be making like, you know, top tens of each year or well, top fives of each year for sure. But, or top threes, I'm not sure, but you know, I'm not going to be doing it as often and I don't want to do it anymore as often. You know, I, I'd like to like say, hey, this is like what I liked this year and that's about it. And yeah, it's basically what I have to say about that. But Mostly, and also I started doing vlogs on that channel, I kind of got um, used to talking in public on camera. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but a lot of people, like, they don't know how to feel when vlogging. And if you've gotten this far in the video, um, 
and you want to vlog, I think I just, like, the main advice that I have to give to you is just do it. <laughs> like, just get used to the fucking camera. Like, I don't know how else to say it because, you know, it, it's a state of mind when vlogging. You, like, if you want to go out and vlog, you just have to get used to going out and vlog. And it, it's gonna be awkward at first, I, I can assure you that, but once you get used to the fact that no one really cares what you're doing outside, then you know what, you, you're gonna be good, okay? Because everyone's in their own little bubble, okay? No one's going to just look, like some people are gonna look at you and give you a dirty face or dirty look or whatever, but you know what, at the end of the day, um, that dirty look is not going to really um, equate to anything. And honestly, you probably don't know that person. And you know, you can go on your with your day after that. You know, it's just like, yeah, you know, you gave me a dirty look because I like to do what I like to do. You know what? I, I don't give a shit, okay? Just 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 get out of my face, all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep walking. You know, honestly, there's a lot of people who vlog now and there's a lot of people like on their phones and in their own little world, okay? A lot of people are up here, okay? They're not here. Alright, I'm not here. I'm up here more. <laughs> so when I go out, obviously, like in vlog, I'm I'm kind of like more confident now because I've done it a few times. Uh, there was one vlog where I went out in the woods and someone was looking at me um, and I was just like in the middle of talking I'm like, oh shit, I have to, I have to like turn this off. I don't want to get them on camera or anything like that. And I was like afraid that they were gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I, but we did end up talking like for a little bit, you know, he's like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, hey, I'm good, how about you, you know? And that's basically what ended up happening. And honestly, it's just like, whatever, dude. Like, that's basically how it is gonna be like when you vlog. You're just, some random person is gonna probably say hi to you. But that's about it, <laughs> you know? But, you know, I haven't gotten dirty looks from vlogging yet. And I have done it outside a few times. So other than that, um... Yeah, I made music related content. I vlogged. I also um, did podcasts, which was fun. I learned to articulate with those much more uh, because obviously you can't see my facial expressions, which is kind of nerve wracking. So yeah, I just hear an all stutter, no facial reactions. Yikes. So, you know, I kind of learned to articulate more with those rather than videos um, and just podcast like videos. So to say, I learned how to do that. Um, also, what else did I do? I did shit posts a lot and I had fun making those. All right, if you wanna hear more about my five furry dads and um, hear me like sing with fidget spinners and all that, I, I have fun making those. So, you know, I had fun having shits and gigs. Um, let's see what else did I do. Yeah, and I made astrology content and honestly, I loved memeing those up and Hear, like seeing people in the comments saying like, hey, I never really looked into astrology, but honestly, you know, I did learn something new out of this. And I really liked seeing that because astrology is one of my passions. So I was like, I am teaching someone some random facts. And that, that kind of made me happy. You know, I try to make my video, I try to make my videos interesting. Um, so people who don't really like astrology can like look at it and be like, hey, you know, Aries moons are kind of like this, yep, you know, and they don't have to be an Aries moon, but that's just an example, you know. Someone can get something out of the video, and that's just kind of what I want to do, you know, like I said, Alyssa Sharp was kind of my main inspiration, well, now Alyssa Trahan, you know, with making astrology videos, so obviously I want to add memes. Uh, if you don't know, most of her astrology videos, like her early ones, she was just roasting everyone and like trying to be funny. And she was funny. Um, I didn't really get the sense of humor at first, but once I started watching more of her videos, I'm like, you know what? I, I get you, okay? Neptune in the 10th, it, it happens, all right? Because she does have Neptune in the 10th. And I, I know how weird that placement can get because I also have it. And I do know that um, Neptune in the 10th people can come off really weirdly at first through videos. And, you know, just, you know, watching you know, her videos over time, you know, I did see like her more serious videos in the midst of her more um, exaggerated videos. And I'm like, you know what, I, I get you, all right? I, I get what you're trying to say. And I get how you're trying to um, bring your information forward. And I could appreciate her bringing your information forward. And it's mostly because she's a Sagittarius Midheaven, so she does it way, just, well, she did it way better than me and probably explains um, religion and religious and spiritual topics now better than I could ever do that. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. And you know, with that being said, it, like 
she's a main reason why I add memes to my videos. Obviously I don't watch a lot of meme uh, astrology people out there, um, if there are any meme astrology people other than me, but I, I wouldn't mind watching them. It's just how I like to um, present information. I like to present it in a way that kind of makes you like think and maybe like makes you relate it to something like colors or um, let's see, weird memes. You know, I like to do that. <laughs> you know, I like to kind of crack jokes in that sense that is kind of like really offbeat and weird. That's just how I like to um, express information. And obviously, you know, not all the channels that like talk about personality theory um, express information like that. And I'm cool with that, all right? I, I can appreciate the more, um, you know what, this is a topic. I like this topic. Now I'm gonna be kind of serious. You know, I can definitely appreciate that. And I do like watching those videos too, but that's just not how I present information. So yeah, with like VidMe um, and how uh, those, how my videos like changed over time and how much like different things I tried. It was a fun experience and I talked to a lot of people in the comments and I kind of got over my social anxiety of commenting on videos. I don't know if I mentioned that early in the video, but I didn't really know how to react to the YouTube comment section. And you know, on Vidme, there was such a precedent set saying you have to comment on every video you watch. And obviously I don't comment on every video I watch, even now, like I never did back then too. But um, you know, there was such a set precedent which kind of forced me to get out of my comfort zone, which was actually kind of cool. And I kind of enjoyed that was the case. Um, let's see. I think I watched a raw man video and he got me to do it the most. And um, honestly, I have to give him a shout out because he helps me with my social anxiety, okay? Um, in a way that really pushed me. Um, so yeah, thank you, raw man. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, it's down below. And basically, you know, he was just like, yeah. Back then he was like, yeah, comment on those videos. And like, I have social anxiety. And he was like, comment on those videos, dude. So I was like, okay, I'll comment on those videos. And that's what I did. And honestly, I talked to so many people. A lot of people commented on my videos. It was a good time. Um, but obviously, um, with time, uh, you know, as I got more confident, um, you know, Vinmi was slowing down. And, you know, I do get it. Uh, obviously, the site was built really odd. I didn't really want to say anything because... On Vidme, uh, there was oh, another weird precedent, uh, don't criticize Vidme. <laughs> I'm not even joking, that was precedent set forward. Um, I'm not going to really get into the details of that because it's a story that has been tell told like 50 times already. Um, so, you know, I didn't really want to step that boundary and, um, again, for the sake of my content and the sake of just you know, yeah, the sake of my content, I really enjoy talking to people on that site, that's why. So basically, you know, nothing really was improved because of that. Um, nothing, like, there were some really good changes over time, like more create, like, more tags, you know, categories, uh, trending stuff, trending tags, um, all that fun jazz, feature channels you know, just competitions, all that fun jazz was on the site, but some things just did not really work out well on the site at all. Um, there was, let's see, uh, let, yeah, the, just the front page of the site, it, it was not good at all. It did not, app, like, you know, appeal to anyone. It just had YouTubers on it, and it didn't really show any new creators, which sucked. You know, it been me morally focused on advertising YouTubers that already had, um, a, you know, a following, you know. I mean, that that's basically all they did, really. You know, they didn't put, you know, let's see, Stefan Jenkins, uh, Calibri. They didn't put those people on the front page. No, they put, like, Jaden Animations. You know, nothing against Jaden Animations, but she is more known for being a YouTuber. And honestly, it's just... I guess that's just how it went, and with that being said, there was a pr the precedent do not criticize Vinmi, which also has its own stories, like, what's it, Quintantino? Honestly, y you can find a lot of, you can find videos about that probably on here. You can find, like, maybe tweet threads and countless information if you look up <laughs> that name, It'll just involving that whole just involving Vidme and how they like treated, you know, 
I guess talking to YouTubers, like that's kind of just what happened there to be honest. And obviously, you know, Drama Crew, that whole entire thing, they just like unverified like the main person who started that. Even though Drama Crew was trying to start a good thing by do doing drama raids, which basically means they go after videos they like and they're like, hey, Drama Raid, you did pretty good on this video, like, <laughs> what? And you know, they did get people to stop, um, I guess, mass, I guess, what's it, mass upvoting? That was a thing, you know, Vidme was like Reddit, so you upvote instead of liked or disliked. So, you know, they kind of wanted to stop mass upvoting and um, all that fun jazz. And like I said, you know, the main person behind that got blocked. Not not blocked, they got him verified. So, you know, they got him verified. Um, that, that, like, that um, got a lot of people off of Vidme. And with that being said, uh, that was pretty much the last thing, and a lot of people after that got really unmotivated for some odd reason. We don't know what happened, just, there was like a mass unmotivation, <laughs> like, a week after that. Like, I didn't even upload videos, and I didn't make my ranch video, and after reaching 311 followers, because I made, like, a 311 joke, I was like, hey, you know what? Like, I could do, like, something special for 300 followers, but why- I'm just gonna tell an old meme instead. So, honestly, I was just, I was out of it. Everyone was out of it. And honestly, I think that was, like, the last thing that killed Vinmi. <laughs> and then after that, you know, Vinmi's like, hey, I'm shutting down. And you're not gonna upload a goodbye video. And that kind of harp, that, like, shook me up. Okay? When I saw that Reddit post. And just people going, like, I don't know what to do now. Like, when I saw that, I was just like, something broke in me. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, not to be an overdramatic fuck, but something broke in me. And when I saw that, I was just like, shit. <laughs> so, with that being said, um, I just, like, immediately made a tweet thread saying, you know what, I'm going to make content that I really feel passionate about. Like, I've been thinking about this for a while. You know, I don't really want to make music content now. And I just want to, you know, do what I gotta do on the YouTubes. This is where I'm gonna be, um, this is what's gonna be up for my new videos, but I'm gonna be archiving all of my videos on my computer first onto YouTube. And that's what I did. Um, I do appreciate all what Vinmi has done though. You know, it's just, I don't feel like it grew. Because they didn't, they did a lot of weird moves. Um, but honestly, it happens. <laughs> um, I, no disrespect to Vinmi, but we all do weird moves. And honestly, I did think the site had to grow up a little bit. Um, and honestly, like, I don't know what they're going to do next. And they are doing something next. So I guess only time will tell that. Uh, but for now, you know, we're all just going to go to different sites. You know, I do also, uh, what's it, um, archive on BitChute. I archive some shit posts there. Uh, other than that, that's basically it. Um, but what did I learn from Vinami? I learned to stop really caring what other people thought and that, and to just be myself on camera and kind of got more comfortable in front of a camera, for sure. Um, I stopped stuttering as much, which is a good thing. Um, and yeah, I just, it, it taught me more than YouTube ever did my on my time there. Well, with my time there, and honestly, you know, will that continue? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I hope it does. <laughs> Obviously, I also learned to not put my eggs in one basket. All, all my eggs in one basket, and obviously that's just what everyone on that used to post on Vidme would tell you. Because <laughs> they didn't let us put a last video up. Saying where we were going to be and what was our plan after Vidme shut down. They did not do that. And that kind of still pisses me off, but honestly, it's like, whatever. They did not manage their time right, and it happens. I get it. <laughs> but still, it, it was just... It was just such a weird way to say, yeah, we're done. You know, it was a weird way, and honestly, if Vidmi was dying, they should have told people before shutting, shutting the whole entire operation down. So they should have, like, literally just, you know, they should have addressed this a month ago. And because we all knew it, okay? We all knew that it was going downhill. We didn't, we, we all didn't know that it would fully end. But I did sense that, hey, this is not the usual site that I'm used to posting on. You know, 
if there's something going on, maybe you should try to fix that shit or try to tell us, okay? You should tell us if you're going to end. <laughs> and that's just something that never happened until later on, <laughs> which was something, um, but yeah. I will still thank Vinmi for, um, you know, giving me the opportunity to post whatever I wanted and not whatever I wanted, but what I wanted to do. And, you know, kind of offer me a place to make friends and a place for me to discover new content. Because when I go on YouTube, I just watch Brutal Moose and like, I guess, MBTR channels now. Uh, that's basically how my watchings look now. And um, before that, it was like, I hate everything in astrology videos, so. That kind of says a lot. Um, I don't really step out of my boundaries when it comes to YouTube and, you know, Vidme forced me to do that. And, you know, I hope that there are alternative sites where I can still do that with. Uh, I need to still figure out how to use BitChute, to be honest. Um, and I do want to check out Vidly for sure, so. You know, maybe I can still find those, like, alternative creators. Um, but for now, uh, you know, that's just what's, that's just what's up with the, the with how I feel about everything and I hope you uh hope this video is coherent and that I told a story about how I went through different content and um developed more confidence through it. I hope it did. Um this is more like just um I guess one of those videos where it's just like I got fired from Hot Topic and I'm gonna rant about for 30 minutes. And obviously I, I guess I made this 30 minutes not because I want I can't get abs, okay? <laughs> And honestly, I, I'm probably gonna get, like, backlash from this video. But, yeah, that th this is uh, how I feel and all that fun jazz. So, thanks for watching this serious video, I guess. Peace out, hug a tree! <laughs>